Yes, I believe Kate is just a malformed werewolf too. As I proposed with Jackson and his Kanima transformation, Kate was created by a werewolf spark, and therefore Kate, just like all the bites gone wrong, should be considered just a malformed werewolf. Let's go back to the beginning. Peter scratches and kills Kate, but his scratch is so deep that he shared some of his werewolf-making alpha spark with her. Just like with my Jackson theory, Peter's spark encounters a twisted soul, but this soul is twisted in a different way, and the spark gets twisted into a brand new shape. Meanwhile, this new story reaches Mexico, and while the Argents are too busy mourning to think about it, Araya Calabera knows that the scratch of an alpha can be transformative. She heads to Beacon Hills to make sure, and as she feared, Kate's wounds are healing, so they take the body so she can do the right thing and unalive herself. We all know what follows from watching season four. Are you all right? Just a second. Now, as spectacular and cat-like as Kate is here, what you are seeing is just a malformed werewolf. But, you say, Kate looks like a cat and we call her a were-jaguar. This is true, but to that I will say that sometimes we call ugly grapes raisins, but it doesn't change the fact that all raisins are grapes from the same vine. But here, my malformed werewolf explanation gets a little more complicated. So why don't you just tell us? Where is La Loba? Where is the she-wolf? Araya and Severo don't seem to think of her as a traditional Mexican were-jaguar. And they repeatedly call Kate La Loba, which is from another native Mexican myth about a woman who collects skeletons and breathes life back into them. Now that describes Kate's protectors, the berserkers, pretty well, but it doesn't mention her cat parts at all. The church was built over the ruins of an Aztec temple. It belonged to a people called the Nawal. Shapeshifters. Wear jaguars. Now there were undoubtedly wear jaguars in Mexico at one time. So why didn't the Calaveras call her that? I suggest that they had enough experience to know that despite what Kate looked like, she was just another malformed werewolf. Again, wear jaguars are a real thing in Mexico. They built a whole temple to Tezcatlipoca that was run by a bunch of warlock werefolk who could turn into cat-like creatures. Kate was apparently similar enough to those creatures to make the temple work, but really she was just another malformed werewolf.